ओके सर बी सुनील दास सर सर राइट इन द चार्ट बॉक्स सर जस्ट अल्प बी सुनील दास यस सर बी फॉर बॉय बी एस यू एन आई एल ऑल टुगेदर यस सर रेट एस बी एम बी सुनील दास एट जीमेल आई आई बी गिविंग माय एस बी एम सर प्लीज वेट सर सुनील ओके जीमेल इज फाइन यस सर जीमेल ओके बी सुनील दास एट जीमेल डॉट कॉम सर Sir, in chat box, I have uh, given. Please uh, cross check it. Yeah, I've sent it, sir. I've sent it. Okay. 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 So, without it. losing time, let me start off. Let me start yes. off with this. Okay. But I would uh, prefer my presentation. I made some effort to do it. Mm, I, I don't know why I'm not able to. Okay. Yeah. I will. I will add. Yeah. Uh, Can you see this? <clears throat> Can you guys find out my presentation? Are you getting it? No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got my. Yes, you got sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. If you got it, then fine. So let me go ahead with this. Uh, shall we start off? You see the slide, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So. Yes, sir. Yeah. So good morning, guys. Uh, very nice to meet such young and. Uh, you know blossoming uh, stars of the future and especially being in a great grooming institute like asbm so guys uh, i'm i'm somebody who's got in a professional experience of 37 years so i've learned a lot from a professional career as well as from my life and i would like to you know share certain uh, insights uh which are, which are going to be uh, very helpful for you in the way you build your career all right so let me start off with this you may be thinking what is building a career we have uh, we have to do, all we have to do is uh, complete our studies and then find the job that comes to us and then we get going right it's not as simple as that all right so if you see my next slide this is about you know there's a sunshine and you guys are just about starting your career you are not actually starting a career you are still into your last lap of your uh, you know your academic academic build up but but i would uh, consider this as a preparation for your career all right so them there will be many many options around but uh, how you are going to strategize and navigate is going to make a difference for you whether you're going to be successful you're going to be uh, you know contented and uh, you feel accomplished or not okay so i want to share certain insights which perhaps not many will share with you okay what is the future for you is it really a path of roses it's not actually unfortunately it's not not so much when um, you know Uh, 35 years back when guys like me started off a career things were not so disruptive you know everything around was so stable we were we were asked to go for a secured government job and then uh, get married build a house and then see settle down kind of unfortunately it's not so simple as that uh, these days you see a little uh, invisible uh, virus has caused so much of disruption you know uh, to the human life to the economy to what not everything in the way we live right so what is don't think that uh, your future is uh, is this guy saying that uh, the future is dark and it's hopeless it's not that you can make a you know make your successful path you can lay your own uh, path of roses but you have to do it it won't come to you automatically all right so there are a few things i'm going to share with you now so once you complete your education here whether it's the bbm or a bcom or an mba life is going to be a little different right so life till now has been all fun your know, social media facebook your boyfriends your girlfriends movies having fun long rides to perhaps the puri beach 
you know, all of that. A lot of friends having fun right in the morning. Uh, perhaps some of you uh, having some weekend parties. And, uh, you know, life is so casual. And there are these guys who are professors uh, whom I don't know how you're going to perceive. Maybe some will perceive them as gurus and some will perceive where he's a pain in the ass. I don't know what. And this uh, thing of study, I don't know how many of you are going to enjoy this, but perhaps it's going to be a pain, especially if it's before a term exam. Mm, by tendency, you've been all mischievous guys, very, very young, kind of 18, 20, 22, I guess. So breaking the rules is a lot of fun. And uh, you've been dependent. Uh, I think most of you must have been dependent on your parents uh, till, till now, right? So life after this, once you step out of ASBM uh, with a degree, okay, so it's going to be a little different, guys. So you're going to not have friends, but you're going to have colleagues. Perhaps you may be a little friendly, but uh, perhaps you won't be so friendly uh, as uh, you are now with your friends around. Uh, that instead of fun, it's going to be work. So it depends on you whether you look at work as fun. You can look at work as fun. And you're going to be accountable. You're not accountable for anything right now. You're going to be accountable for everything you did, hour on hour, day on day. And you have to be accountable for the results. OK? Take the bread bat or a bouquet, whatever. Get appreciated or you know, get a rebat. You've got to be sincere. It's no option. Here for Chalta, you can break rules, all that. But And you're going to report. Now, these days, I know you guys have grown up now. Mm, you will think, uh, you know, parents guide you and they they give you sermons. But you will say, Are, aapka time ho gaya. Mm, uh, you're from old times. This is new. Uh, this is a new world. This is different. You don't know anything, kind of. But, but here, you're going to have a manager whom you can't say anything. And you'll have to follow his instructions and you'll have to report to him, you know, for everything that you do. All right. And uh, he would also give you some learning on all of that. So that's the kind of a relationship you're going to have. You're going to practice, learn and develop yourself continually. Now it's all option. Uh, class, whether you uh, you pay your attention or uh, while, while a professor is taking a class or uh, you're switched off and think about a movie that uh, you have seen the last evening. Okay, but here no option. You'll have to continually practice, do well, do a perfect job, 99%, 100%, whatever the norm is at the workplace. Learn, try to learn more and more and develop yourself. And for you guys, even more than any of us or the previous generations, because things are going to be very disruptive in future, which I'm going to share in the next slides. Okay, so it's all real time challenge. Now it's all fun. Yeah. Yes, Hello. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we are not able to see your PPT. Oh, that's what I was asking. Sir, uh, in that case, you just stop sharing, sir. I will add. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop sharing. Okay, you do it, please, then. Okay, okay. Sir. Okay. Mm. Okay. Can you do it, please, sir? Yes, sir. No, I'm sorry. Okay. So this is that uh, slide number four. Okay. Is it right. visible, sir? I don't know whether it's visible to others. I don't know. But, uh, you you check. Huh? I have sat with the students also, sir. This okay, time. okay, go ahead, go ahead. So uh, life, uh, the workplace is going to be a little different. You're not going to have these large groups, perhaps, but you can have your own team and share with your team. But otherwise, you're individually accountable. You're going to have relationships uh, at a workplace, which you'll have to necessarily keep positive. At a workplace, you can't afford to have a mixed relationship like you have in a campus or anywhere else. And of course, in spite of doing all of this, 
you need to have your responsibility towards the family. Uh, we move to the next slide. So I said it's not going to be a path of roses. So what's going to come in the future? See, the future, as we adopt the newer technologies, all right, things are going to be very different. There's not going to be any secure jobs. I don't know how much, how long these government jobs are going to continue as a secured ones, but in the private sector, as all of you would wish to, it's going to be very different. They're going to be, it's going to be a gig economy. You're going to have, you know, very uh, short term jobs, temporary jobs and task based, project based, that kind of an assignment, which means that you have to develop your potential continually. You have to have that brand equity as somebody who's excellent in uh, testing or, 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 or in, you know, any, any domain, whether it's an analytics or any domain, you've got to be an expert at that. And then this organization, uh, this company would give you that job. These could be the days. I don't know how sooner or later it's going to happen, but that's the way to go. So you know, you're not going to have all of that, uh, you know, lifetime, so you're done for a life. All of those uh, may not happen so much. It may go to the next slide, sir. So you'll see here on the left side of this slide, the first, the first industrial revolution when you know uh, very early about 100 years back or even more was when you know it started in Britain. All of you would have studied in your school that the industrial revolution with a lot of mechanization happened, the steam engine by James Watt and all of that from mechanization then. It became mass production, you know, there was electricity and, uh, you know, mechanical uh, kind of mass production uh, through assembly lines. You see that uh, line of cars there. That's the industrial revolution number two. Number three is about computer and automation. All of, most, most um, you know, most of our country, most places, we are having this stage or the next one which is about cyber physical systems. We also into this stage now, the the industrial revolution number four. Okay, so what's gonna come now, and which has already come in a few other nations like Canada and US and some parts of Europe is the industrial relation 5.0. So what happens if you look at the image on the right side, you see uh, a robot having an interface with computer. All right, so. There's going to be a lot of robot robotics uh, into action at, the, at the, the shop floor in any factory now. Okay, so th that's the way to go because most of the uh, you know very routine kind of a tasks are going to be carried out by robots, and there's going to be a limited interface. So in the days to come, in the years to come, the next version is going to be Industry 6.0, which is about doing everything, sitting at home through a mobile app, app-based it's going to be. So that's even far-fetched. So in industrial, I mean, in India, where are we? We are in kind of number three or number four. Uh, five actually is a little capital intensive. So, uh, you know, many entrepreneurs are shying from doing it right now because a lot of capital investment is required for that kind of a model. But the future guys, this is the way to go. So, which means that you got to be abreast with whatever developments are happening in terms of the technologies in whichever function you are. You should understand that there are going to be new technologies, there are going to be new domains of learning, and only then you can. So, which means it's going to be a continual skilling, reskilling, and upskilling. Okay? Reskilling is learning a totally different kind of an area, upskilling is upgrading yourself like all these software professionals do now. They continually learn the next version and the next version. So that's the way it's going to catch up almost in every domain. All right. So since you guys are from the management, not so much technical, but still you got to understand this. You've got to keep abreast. We never know what kind of systems and supporting mechanism would come up. So you will have to be uh, aware and sensitive about this. OK, we move on to the next slide. So the future workplace, as you see, most people working from home now, it's going to be very different. They're going to have virtual monitors, uh, you know, at a workplace, very few people. They're not those typical desks and uh, workstations, all of that. So it's going to be perhaps a virtual world 
and uh, digitalized, fully digitalized. We're already going through, thanks to the corona, we are already going through the digitalization process. So while the technology and the market scenario is going to change like this, so what is it uh, that you got to do? It calls for a strategizing your career. You need to really strategize the career from when? After passing the BBM or MBA? No, right now. All right. So you can actually, in spite of all these challenges, all these dynamics and all these disruptions, you can still create a very highly successful uh, career plan for yourself if you follow the next steps. So what does it involve? It involves the need of art for you guys is self transformation. Now you had a lot of fun all these years, a lot of enjoyment, a lot of mischief, and a lot of breaking the rules and all of that. I'm not saying try to become a monk or a sadhu or something. I'm saying just be focused and and ignite this change in you. Okay? So that process of transformation has to start now in a small but focused and a strategic manner in a planned manner. All right, the next slide. Uh, so don't worry about what you can't control. Our focus and energy needs to be on the things we can control, which is attitude, effort, and focus. So these are the three things. Your attitude towards your career has to be a little different. Maybe your uh, college, your college or school or whatever, your junior colleges, all of that, you have, you were kind of, Okay, attending classes and perhaps taking out the textbooks before the exams and, uh, you know, burning midnight all and finish off the exam and the next exam and the next exam. Have a lot of fun in between. That's all fine. But I would want you guys to be, you have your fun once you're out of the campus. But at the campus, you have to learn something. You have to have a takeaway. And before you go to sleep, try to see it, you know, talk to yourself and figure out what is it that you have learned today? I think somebody can switch off. Huh? Uh, keep the mobiles on mute, please, all of you. All right. So things that are under your control, kindly, kindly keep them under your control and, uh, you know, work on that in terms of attitude, effort and focus. Next slide, sir. Are you on the next slide? On the left side, you see this? You're seeing this? Never complain about what your parents couldn't give you. It was probably all they had. Do you see the slide? Okay. I assume you're seeing it. Okay. So, so you know, a lot of I've seen a lot of these guys who kind kind of uh, who kind of uh, you know uh, always yell saying that. Are we didn't, uh, you know, my parents didn't invest in this. Otherwise, I would have become that. Okay, this is the best you got, and parents always love you guys, and they are given, uh, you know, the, whatever best they could. So always, always have gratitude towards your parents because if they're building up and preparing you to unleash your life, it is because of the parents. Don't forget them. Take care of them. So this value is very important for you guys. Okay. So slide number 12, we move on. This is the most difficult thing, okay? Which is knowing yourself. You know a lot about your neighbors, your friends, all your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your teachers, and uh, you know all the great actors and whoever your celebrities that you know about, you know a lot about them. But how much do you know about yourself? I'll tell you, if you're not focused on knowing yourself, then a lifetime goes away. You know, people realize it at the age of 30, 40, 50, and even 60, and say, what am I actually? I'm, it's as if like I was pushed into this life and I've just completed everything. I've got retired, I've got married, I've got children, but what am I? That shouldn't happen to you. Okay, so how do you know yourself? Talk to yourself, interact with yourself in peace. You know, then you'll get to know, okay, what kind of a person you are and what are your strengths, okay? So knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. You have to start working on this right now. And I want all of you to do this. Talk to yourself, try to figure out what are you? Are you, are you a 
you know made out for a great politician or a great economist or a, or a ceo of a company or uh, is it some sportsman what are you you have to figure out yourself uh, that you can know because nobody else knows about you but what you could do is you can you you could be thinking something about yourself but but your peers and people around you might give you a different kind of a reflection they say hey guy no no you're not that you're this so consolidate all of that assimilate all of that and surely you can you can get a sketch of what you are so knowing yourself is important the next thing is now what are your strengths okay so what exactly are your strengths is important um, actually if you look at other nations uh, even during schooling they do this uh, strength finding assessment so you got to find out guys what are your strengths that's very important because the career that you opt for even if you're doing an mba which kind of a specialization you would do and within the specialization what kind of a role will really fit into your personality factors and the kind of uh, you know the personality makeup that you have because if if you if you have a role uh, that's based on your strengths you're going to really love that role okay okay so all of us have a mix of some strengths and many uh, weaknesses or areas for improvement okay so don't worry about areas there are certain areas that are a must to have which i'll tell you in the following slides but but mostly don't worry about the weaknesses you try to identify your strengths and build on that i'll tell you what kind of strengths they could be and how they could be categorized how are you going to find out hmm? knowing yourself is a little difficult but finding your strengths a little easier because there are a lot of tools in the market and i'll i'll take you through them so the next slide sir so there are a lot of these personality slides uh, personality tests we are on slide number 14 i guess right so personality test they they suggest what kind of a career and employment that will best fit you where you can excel you can do a great job at that and you're going to be really enjoying and feel delighted at the workplace all right so these are a must so do do this so there are some tools like um, uh, stand out and sun finder and a few other tools and uh, there is an mbti all of that but but uh, there are also certain free tools like 16 pf online you could get some understanding on what are your strengths okay so i'll take you to that so this the next slide uh, slide number 15 this is called the cattle 16 pf okay 16 personality factor you see the two extremes of each of them are on the right and left side so you see that one two three four six seven eight nine ten yeah the 16 of them on so it's like a continuum either you are too reserved or too outgoing so when you do this assessment you know it's going to plot you somewhere either on a 7 or a or a 2 or 5 or whatever you are so are you too reserved and introvert a person or are you an outgoing person if you are an outgoing person you perhaps you would like to talk to people which 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 perhaps means any role that has a people interface it could be somebody if you are in hr somebody into employee engagement or employee relations or perhaps into marketing then it's sales and retail and all of that okay so you will have to figure out that what kind of a guy are you so based on that uh, you could find out what best suits you all right so intelligence what is your iq level how affected are you by feelings okay so remember one thing whatever your individual profile comes you know your individual graph on the 16 pf comes what you should do is like you have emotional stable thing you know the third one are you affected by feeling that somebody provokes you are you really going to break loose so you have to work on all of these even if you are an introvert you know i, I know a lot of introverts but but they meet a lot of people they do a great job at that okay so they try to work on this side whatever is the personality factor though it's a dominant factor it's it it will involve a little stress for you to become the other extreme 
but that's the way to go because the job uh, demands that okay so emotional stability is something whatever wherever you are on that particular parameter you got to be very very stable even if somebody provokes you you should not be because at the workplace nobody is going to tolerate all of this you got to have very stable kind of a behavior so that's emotional intelligence are you too submissive submissive doesn't work because you're not going to work under small banias and all you're going to work in corporates so you have to develop that so if you're too submissive so far because of kind of upbringing you'll have to change undergo that little bit of change if you're too serious and not too happy go lucky perhaps a little more uh, you know mm, you know kind of a mix of that don't take everything light or don't take things too seriously okay just balance that too expedient too conscientious conscientious is always good means uh, you uh, whatever your conscience says good you have your values and beliefs so you go by that okay it's always good uh, timid venturesome may not be too venturesome you can't be too timid as well so kind of so all of these we have a shortage of time so i won't spend i i would suggest that you go through the internet and do an assessment for yourself and try to figure out where you stand and then uh, the next thing is try to find out which particular stream uh, that you would like to opt for if your parents or a peers or somebody has suggested hey marketing is good you'll get a job and all that but you are a different makeup then don't go for that all of you have seen this three idiots movie right so uh, do what your passion is and passion comes from your strength so understand what your personality factor is identify your strengths uh, you know and try to figure out in which particular specialization which particular because even in a specialization there are going to be multiple roles you say even uh, finance uh, most mostly it is all financial analysis and kind of that financial analyst kind of a role but it could also be some retail finance kind of where you're going to meet a lot of people so you can choose that you know um, so many options are there within every specialization that your professors will guide you so uh, try to right now uh, you know zero in on that two or three or four kind of uh, roles that you would like to perform don't just leave it at a specialization and once you have figured out what are the kind of roles that you're going to um, aspire for uh, try building the competencies for that don't think that ek bar naukri mil jane to then i'll start learning they will train me they'll definitely train you but it's always good for you to you know uh, build that competency right now as you study so which means that everything that you study in say your mba program and even the pbm program there is going to be some application eh? so something of that you are going to apply once you are at the workplace so until now your undergrad and other other whatever programs you have done if you have taken things lightly and studied only for the exam and all of that take this a little differently every day try to learn something and try to uh, figure out how this is going to apply at a workplace and and memorize that okay uh, because this is going to be very useful to you so i'll go on to the next slide so this is another assessment called the clifton strengths test so what this says is it uh, you know there are various other things which if i show you now it's going to be complicated which is why i thought based on your personality factors all of that uh, what you are predominantly can be boxed into some of these okay it could be a mix of uh, many of the all these four kind of uh, leadership domains okay uh, so are you more of an execution guy are you more of an influencer which means leaders influence you know are you a real leadership material so should you not get into a career which is only about process and operations are you into relationship building is that your strength so based on this a mix of this kind of a uh, leadership domains and or from whichever tool try to uh, do a uh, you know a sketch and a map of uh, what your competencies are and based on that try to choose a role don't just think okay let me do a mba in finance or something whatever job comes for me i'll do you know why i'm telling you this is that i know people who are into mid career stage they realize 
hey, this is not what I was cut out for. This is not my kind of. A, I really love the. You know, I'm into marketing for so long, but this marketing is not the way. I mean, I don't really enjoy this. I would perhaps love a finance or perhaps a HR. So that shouldn't happen to you. You know, realizing that that means, you know, losing out everything and going back to you know ground zero and start a new career, which you can't do that. So if you continue from there on, but things that you don't like, you're going to hate your lifetime. Your lifetime goes off. So which is why I'm telling you uh, right now you can you can actually strategize your career based on your strengths, based on your personality makeup, based on your passion. And then try to figure out what roles are right for you, and then go ahead. Okay, so try some of these instruments. They're available. Stand out is good. Strength Finder is good. Clifton Strength Test is also okay. But you can start a, a free uh, 16 PF online assessment to start off with, and then build on that and work on that. I think your professors are going to guide you based on your personality, what best chooses you. So, like I was telling you. Uh, the next slide, sir, uh, slide number 17, build upon strengths and weaknesses will gradually take care of themselves. Most people, even organizations, what they do is they do assessment of people and they think he's supposed to have these A, B, C, D, E, F competencies, but he's good only in A and D, others he's not so much. So let's give him a lot of training and training and training. I'll tell you what, focusing on weaknesses uh, will only fix the weakness. It won't convert into a strength. Okay, if you're not being great in mathematics and all of that, and that's why you can get the engineering kind of a seat, perhaps, and therefore you come here. So that's what you are. It doesn't matter. Your strengths are somewhere else. Okay, so try to figure out where your strengths are and build on the strengths. Don't worry so much on weaknesses. But there are certain areas uh, for improvement, which is, which is communication skills and interpersonal skills. I'll, I'll take you to that. So, but otherwise, focus on your strengths. Try to don't miss out on the strengths because normally, everywhere globally, everyone is only weakness focused. But you've got to be strength focused because weakness focus doesn't help you really. You can fix a little if it's very essential weakness, but otherwise, focus on the strengths and build on the strengths. You're going to do great on that. You want to the move uh, to the next slide. This is slide number 18. So. Figure out that. What is your goal post? What is your career goal now? What do you want to become? Which particular career path are you going to take? Are you going to marketing? And if so, marketing, which particular career path in the various, uh, you know, it could be a BD, it could be uh, marketing promotion, it could be a sales, it could be, you know, a market analyst, something, you know, uh, it could be CRM, it could be customer management, whatever. So what best suits you is what matters. And then uh, you have this one or two or three goal posts. Because right now you can't just do you know, it, not one. So there are multiple options. So I have these two or three goal posts. But have that in mind and get the clarity. OK, that's that's very important. Don't go by your parents or somebody saying, hey, see, the other sibling in the home is already a doctor. One is engineer. You become that kind of. No, 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 no. It doesn't happen. You become what your strengths are, you know. Okay, so have your clear goal, uh, you know, clear off. So once you set your goal, stay focused on your path, build towards that. Whatever path takes you there, build on the, you know, developing those competencies. Get me? Yeah. So the next slide, uh, slide number twenty is. Everybody tells, no, don't have negative thoughts and have positive thoughts. It's not enough to have just positive thoughts. You have to be very constructive also. You have to be very constructive and developmental and all of it. It's not enough to have some positivity in the mind, but, but not do much. So you'll have to be very constructive and developmental. But that's important. So work on that. Okay? So, but uh, slide number 21, see? One thing is that while you guys must be enjoying a lot, you know, life having fun and all of that, that is this energy vampires. You know, when your mobile, uh, if a charge 80%, if it's 90%, you know, it's really strong. Huh? But but sometimes uh, the battery gets leaked and, you know, energy goes off. So how does the energy go off in your case? 
if you have a friend or somebody at home who always nags on you no 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 you can't be anything like this you can't be why are you doing this mba you go to the village and do that and you know or say no no that fellow studied he is not got a job what will you do spending so much or anything you want to aspire now to become something and somebody is pulling your leg or he says only negative things you know all these guys they suck your energy these are called energy vampires so when you are on a mission to develop yourself towards a goal oriented kind of an objective uh what is important is to have your energies at both place i mean even at the campus and as you are a student so you will have to work on avoiding this be aware of these energy suckers and avoid them so try to avoid them try not to take them seriously don't get affected by them once they come and through all this uh, you know shit and then afterwards you feel down oh no i was so charged up and now this guy has come and it's talked so many negative things and uh, you know and so now i'm lost of energy i don't know whether i'm on the right path don't feel like that you get committed to your mission and go ahead with that and try to manage this energy vampires very carefully avoid them as much as possible because if you avoid them from your life if it's possible otherwise prevent them as much as uh, you can otherwise just ignore them okay so you'll have to do something about it then what happens is you get more energy to build your uh, career and even to have fun and your happiness okay there are certain uh, very important uh, qualities slide number 22 please so it's about resilience okay i got this 10 rules for you resilience is very important what is resilience is even if there are setbacks you are strong at it you are robust you are tenacious you are very strong even if there's a pandemic somebody loses a job or somebody is asked to sit at home for 6 months yeah he he is not bothered or say this pandemic continues and not going to have classes for some more time and all that you have for a year course to complete in say 4 or 5 months you still can do it that's a resilient having a resilient attitude so what are these 10 rules be very clear on your purpose so once you have understood what your strengths are you know uh, and you have a clear purpose uh, be wedded to that then you know look from multiple whenever you get a problem and situation look from multilateral you have the multilateral which is multiple perspectives of looking at that and don't just look at a problem and then uh, you know just talk about the problem but be more solution focused okay solution focus is must because once you're at a workplace and you talk about problems and problems and problems your boss is going to pick you out he'll say okay if this is the problem what are these options or solutions that you have or solution number a b c he'll ask you for that or somebody who has solutions will be uh, preferred he'll be appreciated for that be tenacious once you fall down from your bike something just get up and then brush aside put a bandaid and move on but move on and because you have a clear purpose go for it even in during times of adversity be tough don't let your morale and your confidence come down okay so even if uh, situations are very bad like this pandemic times or could be anything else comes up you still kind of got to be stay strong because you are wedded to a purpose you'll have to achieve it during this lifetime then be emotionally intelligent which is about uh, not losing your emotional balance if somebody provokes you or emotionally hurts you uh, don't lose your balance okay just ignore that fellow and uh, there are a lot of lot of content and presentations and videos about how to improve your emotional intelligence this is a must have competency so please go through all of that and how you could actually manage your emotions to stay under control so continuous growth is important during my days when we started our career it's like you got a job in a bank okay done okay shut it your your life is done you get promotions no promotion doesn't matter it's a government job it's fine okay but now it's not like that you got to continually grow at that and i told you you'll have to also reskill and upskill yourself continually in whichever domain you are not necessarily technology and uh, there'll be small incremental wins you may not have big uh, you know jackpots 
you'll have small incremental wins try to enjoy that you know if nobody pats you on the back you pat yourself uh, and go forward for the next win and the next win so uh, this growth and uh, development comes in small increments okay have empathy towards others don't be too self centered uh, and you know share whatever knowledge and try to understand the others problem but the workplace you got to be a team player if you are if you are a solo player uh, if you are, you know you're going to work in a silo that's not going to be appreciated uh, you know you're not going to have a long tenure in any organization you got to be empathetic towards others the team members and all of that even within your friends try to help them uh, it doesn't matter if you have studied and you want to be number one so i can i don't want to share knowledge don't do that share knowledge and build positive relationship because relationships uh, building is very important once you are into a career because that is going to take you up people uh, who know your capability as a great worker they're going to say okay i have got a great uh, role for you why don't you please come in it should be like that it shouldn't be like you as uh, keep begging for a role it should it should be like people know your capability so therefore they call you so you should be branded that way the next slide uh, this is about agility so these are the two things you know uh, slide number 23 being agile huh agility and resilience are the two must have competencies for you you study as much as you can in the youtube or the presentations and try to and though i'm going to give you a little overview so being agile is what under any circumstances you're going to stretch yourself so what are you you have a clear vision again you're very confident that you're going to do it anything that you uh, you know uh, that you do you will uh, want to impact make an impact in every action that you do you're passionate to develop yourself continually you're very curious so guys you got to be very curious huh? from now on whether it's in your stream or other stream try to learn as much as possible because all this knowledge is going to come uh, to your uh, uh, you know it's going to help you and benefit you as you as you grow up and uh, start a career so as much curious you are a better okay so even in other domains and you should also develop others i've already told have fun and energy uh, enough and uh, be empathetic and uh, don't uh, you know feel proud about yourself have the humility and of course the communication skills okay effective you may be a great pundit you could be a phd because we see that at a workplace a lot of these uh, scientists and uh, phds are very poor in communication skills so uh, that that's not going to be enough to just have all this knowledge in your cerebrum in your brain and uh, nothing comes out you got to be very effective in your communication communication skills right from the language the english language to uh, your how to effectively communicate and uh, uh, influence and uh, negotiate and convince the other person all of those things are required you know because once you become a leader you're going to influence a lot of people hundreds and thousands of people and you're going to uh, you know inspire them to do something you got to be that great speaker so communication skills start working on it right now uh, develop your english Uh, neutralize if you are all uh, odias then neutralize your uh, native accent and uh, you know a lot of these uh, bpo training all of that happens so see uh, your one is the accent and all of that second is english language and english grammar itself and then the communication skill how to speak what is the art of listening and all of that okay so the next thing is interpersonal relationship at workplace it's very important so you can start working on this which is about how to listen active listening is a great competence a lot of people they they are very bad listeners and uh, you should be empathetic and caring towards people uh, you should uh, develop your uh, leadership skills you should constantly be motivated and uh, you should you should start becoming more responsible and accountable right from now and uh, believe in teamwork okay i understand i am getting uh, close to the time i got the last slide now so one thing here is that whatever you study ha huh, even somebody at my age i am i am kind of 60 years now so i continually study a lot there's so much of knowledge that 
that that is there around and uh, luckily you guys have everything on the fingertips on a mobile phones you know during my days when i was in the university i used to take a bike on a sunday to my university 18 kilometers and then go inside and spend a whole day there uh, trying to read a britannic encyclopedia or kind of thing but today everything is on your fingertips and uh, every knowledge is there and there's no there's no end end time for learning and uh, you know it has to be continual okay learning is continual as long as you are alive okay so just a quick recap on the entire thing the 10 golden rules first thing is have gratitude towards the parents because without values uh, you can't be very successful in life okay you might you might earn some money money comes money goes but have this gratitude towards somebody who has uh, helped you uh, build your life uh, identify know your strengths and passion and build your career path based on your uh, strengths uh, four is think constructively and developmentally and uh, you know continually uh, work on that be resilient be agile uh, stay away from the energy vampires because that's going to tons of you a lot of energy excellent communication skills because that's the only way you're going to sell yourself you're going to you know uh, portray yourself and number 9 is uh, your interpersonal skills very important interpersonal skills so once you have that your relationship building uh, really uh, develops a lot that's also required for you to grow in the organization okay and uh, lastly like i told you uh, learning is continual so every day think what is it that i have learned new today okay no day should pass off okay whether it's english language some words or some concept in your management or whatever it is So that's it. Thank you so much, and look forward to the questions. Are there any questions, please? Yes. Students, you can write in the chat box. Okay. Do you have any queries? or maybe they can ask huh? can they ask audio yes, or whatever okay. okay sir since there are not many you can uh, unmute and uh, yeah okay you can unmute yourself and uh, you can directly ask questions to sir please feel free to ask ha huh? in the meantime would you like to ask some questions sir on behalf of the uh, students based on whatever i share sir your your presentation is uh, very good sir with the uh, 10 golden rules and it is uh, covered so beautifully and uh, the most important thing is the recap why because uh, every time you take knowledge we forget about the recap but at last the summary was there and i have also said uh, the slides to the students Okay. Uh, maybe so. So they can see. Sir, you can share your email ID to the students or phone number yeah. so that yeah, uh, they can keep in touch with you if if at all they have any queries they can ask. Yeah. You can write it in the chat box so that I can. I'm I'm doing that. Yes. Guys, don't don't just think this guy has just come given a lecture. I'm telling you my own experience out of life and lives of others. Uh, most of us have. Uh, uh you know not understood ourselves ha huh? most of us are not understood ourselves till we have grown very old perhaps i started figuring out when i was 45 or 50 years old ha huh? so based on that again i i resculpted myself so i don't want that to happen and i know a lot of guys who feel frustrated midway career i don't want to do this and they take a major shift from their careers to another career and then they're not happy they miss out a lot huh? because 10 years wasted in some career and then go back take another stream means you're taking a hit on your salary and everything you become a junior to somebody 8 years or 10 years your junior i mean become a contemporary of somebody 10 years younger to you you don't want to do that so which is why please take all of these things uh, seriously 
because that's going to help you in your careers. Huh? All of these go through this presentation. Mm, I know normally you think that every year a sub log SI lecture Martha, but this is going to be helpful to your life. Perhaps not many people will uh, give you such insights. Uh, you know, I want you guys to build on it. Since you have time now, you're still at this stage. Profile yourself, understand your strength, know what you are, and based on that, uh, you know, uh, go for your career. All right. So, sir, if there are no questions, I have uh, left my email ID. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. So, so sir, uh, you. our yeah. students are still in the orientation stage. Yeah, yeah, so, I know. So you will have to give more time with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and be quick. So see, the first thing, very... guys, is the first thing, guys, is you should start speaking out your mind. You know, normally yes. in a classroom, you have so many doubts you want to ask, but then there is hesitation. Are koi majak to nahi dega? Will somebody fool me? Or I don't have the guts to stand up and ask. You should feel free. You know, learning doesn't happen that way. If you want to learn, uh, feel free. Your professors, teachers are not going to uh, say, Are, kyun bar bar hai, bar, uh, you know, they're not, uh, it's good for them. In fact, uh, you should also challenge the professors so that they also be, get better and better. Yeah, so there's nothing yeah. wrong with it. That's how learning happens. Yes, sir. We welcome this approach. Uh, yes, but uh, this is the first of its kind. Uh, what happened this time this year because of COVID-19. They are not right. into campus also. And right. uh, at what time uh, they are at homes with their parents. And yeah. we are nurturing them. So it is a new kind of experience. <laughs> yes, yes. I understand that. So all the best, uh, guys. And uh, God bless you. Have a great career and a great life ahead. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, God bless. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, sir. Thank you, bye. God bless. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.